It's just Thursday morning, first day of practice in Madeira. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. Practice is gonna kick off in about two hours. So I have a shuttle, oh, we all have a shuttle to the top of stage one. Ride down that, up to stage two, down stage two, and then down stage three, and that's today done. So I'm gonna take you through the next couple of days of practice and show you guys what it's like. We're at the top of stage one. There's brother. Stage one. So stage one was a really dusty trail. A lot of the corners had blown out, like really, really deep dust. And you couldn't, in my opinion, you couldn't, you couldn't actually tell where to push and where to like stay steady because some of the lines just ended up leading you off the wrong direction or the ruts would be so deep. Like you just had to have the upper body strength to keep yourself up. It's quite a hard stage to ride, I thought. <laughs> stage two was quite a rocky goat trail um, that was right next to the edge of the cliff. Put a puncture like my hole in the tire. I ended up puncturing a tire on that, which is a bit annoying. So I plugged that hole and then we cracked on. Yo! Stage three was, again, like quite a narrow single track with an edge of trail right next to the, the, the mountains. So you have to be really, really focused to stay on track and online. And then it went into this middle bit that was like in the grass almost. Nice, whoa, fuck. That was a big hole. There was like, if you went offline ever so slightly, the holes, there was some really big holes in the long grass, which took a few riders out. I felt like I rode it all right. But again, like I was kind of like on my limit. Like I didn't really want to push too hard on that stage because I was just making a load of mistakes. So anyway, we cracked on. So we just got to the top of day. Well, it's day two, start of stage four, which is the gamble track. The first stage we rode, stage four, was gamble, which was basically just big berms and jumps, and it rode so fast, like a lot faster than I was thinking it was gonna be when we walked the track. So I think that'll be quite a tough one to race. Stage five was the trail Rat Boy, which is obviously named after none other than Josh Bryceland. I quite like that trail, a, a tiny bit slower than some of the other trails you race, but it was quite cool that you had to pick, that you had to really put your wheels where you wanted them. I really enjoyed that trail. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. <laughs> Stage six was a longer trail with a huge pedal in the middle. I wasn't so keen on that, but Overall, I had a really good, it was a really good track. I watched a couple of people come past. Samuel came past, and yeah, really, really cool to watch. Yeah, but really that's good. the thing. It's How weird. It's just like it's in your head. Yeah. Riding is just hey? the right way. Go over all the roots next to the tree. You come in and you just glide and go boom. So, uh, yeah. Stage seven was like the iconic queen stage, which is where you ride like literally right next to the cliff edge and you're like a thousand feet above sea level. And there is literally nothing but the trail and a thousand meter, you know, thousand foot drop, whatever. It's fairly basic in some bits, so, but it's a really iconic place, like side of the, on the west side of the island, I think that is. Again, steep, dusty, big swooping corners you had to set up high for and then rail the corner. This is what they use to channel water around the whole island. Stage eight, so the final stage of the day was stage three that we rode the previous day, and then it went into a street section at the bottom, which mingled its way through some back alleys, and then a really cool set of berms to finish off, and then finish at the seafront. And then after that, we had a nice refreshing drink, and 
Just went for a swim. Yeah, someone told me never to turn an opportunity for a swim down. We're going for a swim in the sea. Oh, that's so refreshing. <laughs> oh, what a good end to be practice. So yeah, I hope you liked the video from practice today. I'm going to try and take my GoPro tomorrow for racing. Hopefully they'll let me wear it on my helmet because there are some rules at these races about uh, mounts of peaks and you know, where, to, you know, where you can mount cameras and where you can't. So I'm going to take it just in case and hopefully I can get the whole day and show you guys how my, actually, well, how my race went and uh, we'll go from there. So see you in the next one.